Well, hey there, how are you? Today, I want to talk about being happy. The premise of this video is inspired by a video I saw from a YouTuber named Anthony Galley. There is a link to his video in the description below, and I really encourage you to watch that video after you watch this because Anthony touched on a definition of happiness that really struck me, really got me thinking about what it means to be happy. I thought that maybe I'd come out here into the middle of nowhere and kind of talk about what I heard in Anthony's video and take that concept just a little farther. In Anthony's video, he talks about in belief systems like Buddhism and other meditative belief systems that it's possible someone could walk into an empty cave, be there alone, isolated and removed, and find happiness. How many memes come across your social media talking about how I hate people, people suck and I'd rather be on an island alone? Well, those may be comedically driven, they're exaggerations, but Anthony's premise is that if it's possible to achieve happiness alone and unto oneself, then what is the purpose of doing anything? Now, Anthony suggests that the reason that you would want to do more than just be happy by yourself is rooted in the idea of altruism, the desire to see an improved state of being for others around you. There's merit to that, I think. Why do people have kids? Because they want to add to their life and add to their happiness. They hope that they can create a happy life for that child or that someday that child may help create a happy life for someone else. Altruism can be a powerful motivator for some. As I stand here, ostensibly in the middle of nowhere, think about how quiet it is, how the only sound is the wind coming through the tree trunks, the leaves rustling around me. What I don't hear is the noise of people. You can make a strong argument that altruism exists and that most people do want to see good things happen to others. But I gotta tell you, there's times when I look at our world and our society today, I see so many that are motivated by their self-interests. I see entire segments of society that are geared towards themselves. Those who believe as they do couldn't give a rip about anybody else. Where am I going with this? Well, while there are those who will and do act in the interest of others, there are just as many who are only concerned with their own happiness. Now, if you've achieved that through some level of isolationism, I ask the same question Anthony asked. Why do anything else at all? What comes to mind for me is the difference between happiness and contentment. There are plenty of us who, regardless of what we may have achieved, want more. Isn't that kind of the basis for human nature? We want more. This gets into an interesting line when I talk about motivations being altruistic. I don't know that it necessarily matters. They're still motivations. There's things that drive us forward. Not everybody is driven forward by the same things. Well, let me stick to the basics though. There is a measurable and marked difference between happiness and contentment. Right now, out here in the quiet, enjoying this scenery and talking with you, I'm happy, I'm enjoying this. I'm making this video and I'm talking to you. I'm anticipating what your response will be. I'm fulfilling the desire I have to create something and share it with people. That makes me happy. But does that mean I'm content? No, because much like the fictitious subject in Anthony's video, who goes into the cave and finds that happiness, I can't sustain happiness out here on my own. I'm not content with that. I naturally want more. I'm gonna start to notice things that don't make me happy. I have to walk around mud puddles. I may pass by a brackish stream of water that doesn't smell very good. I may come upon a, a pile of just rotted wood that's been there for decades and no one can care less and Mother Nature's gonna take care of it, but it's not exactly beautiful. So while I may find that momentary measure of happiness out here quiet in my forest, or you in whatever version of the cave you go into may find happiness. It's my assertion, you cannot find contentment here. How's that for deep thoughts, huh? So what do you think? How often are you finding yourself wanting to just retreat from everything? Retreat from society, close away, and just have that quiet moment alone? Do you think that in the long run, you could remain happy in that environment? 
Or, like me, will you eventually want to wander out of the woods, find something more? Do you, as Anthony suggests, look for more because you want to take that happiness that you've discovered, share it with others? Or is it merely just another exercise in self-gratification? There's no wrong answer. Everyone's different. I'd really like to know what you think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, and if you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Come along for some more fun and some more conversations. If you think I did a good job on the video, I invite you to share this on your social media. Maybe it'll spark a conversation with someone else about the definition of happiness. I strongly recommend you hop over to Anthony Valley's channel and take a look at his video on this topic and some of the other discussions that he's had. If you dig what I do, I know you're going to like what he does. Tell him I sent you. Well, I suppose it's time I got out of these peaceful woods and got back to the real world where there's things that have to be done. But uh, frankly, I think I am going to take just a another minute to enjoy the peace and quiet out here. Think about when I do get back out there, deal with all these people trying to find their own happiness, that I shall always try to be nice, never fail to be kind. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the road.